What's going on grind schoolers? My name is Ravi and this is Throw Some Gang Tuesdays. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about three things um, that contribute to why so many Americans are broke. I'm sorry for all this construction or whatever. Um, I'm at the golf course by my house. They're about to build million dollar homes over here and the golf course is over there if you can see it. But the reason why I decided to turn on the camera today and talk to uh, you guys about why so many Americans are broke is because I heard a radio ad today about um, getting a better job so that you can get a better car. Now the radio ad was basically a little skit about um, a guy that couldn't afford a better car because he didn't make enough money at his job. And that's exactly the reason why most Americans are broke today because we think that we need to make more money so that we can afford more stuff for whatever reason and it's not our fault we're marketed to um we're marketed to uh on social media and on the tv on the radio and pretty much everywhere everywhere we go there's a billboard there's a sign there's an ad of some type of product or service that we need to purchase and that brings me to my next point which is impulse control impulse control and consumerism go hand in hand simply because a lot of people are unable to control their impulses to buy more stuff they rack up debt on top of their credit cards um, they purchase vehicles that they don't need or can't afford they purchase clothes and shoes that they don't need uh, just tons and tons of stuff that we don't need and that's why almost half america is broke and living paycheck to paycheck it's almost sickening simply because of the simple fact that it's a huge problem it's a major problem in our society to feel like we need the latest and greatest thing every single time a new item comes out and it's simply not true and this brings me to my third point which is it all boils down to education unfortunately it's not our fault it's not our fault <clears throat> and I don't necessarily want to say um, it's not our fault because I don't believe in uh, playing the blame game, but the lack of education does contribute to why people um, buy the things that they buy. Or it also contributes to why people don't know what to do with their money when they get some money. Now, I've had this conversation with a few of my friends, and I'm under the impression that a lot of people in our society have made a lot of money. And I don't mean like a lot of money, like millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars, but enough money that if it was saved and put towards good use or invested or whatever, it can compound into something greater. You could start a business. You don't have to go out and request the funds for somebody else or try to build the funds for somebody else. You can do it yourself, right? So even if you had $10,000, even if you had $10,000, $10,000 is a lot of money that you could put towards a stock, a down payment on a home or anything like that, right? So the lack of education and not knowing what to do with our money when we get our money is a serious, serious issue. So with that said, I urge you, I urge you to stop consuming things that you don't need I don't mean the essentials or you know things that you can afford or whatever I mean things that you don't need I was at a garage sale one day and I'm looking at all these little trinkets trinkets however you say it. I was looking at all this stuff all this stuff on the table at the garage sale and I'm just thinking like did you really need to purchase this is this item necessary how much did this item cost at the time that it was brand new and even if you add up every single item on the table, it was it was a, a lot. So even if you add up every single item on the table, even if every item was only $10, it was thousands of dollars worth of merchandise just sitting there that you can't even sell for a fraction of the cost. And it's like, do you really need this stuff? Now, oftentimes we complain about being broke and living paycheck to paycheck. And it's sad because most of Americans have less than $1,000 in their bank account. And like I said, most Americans live paycheck to paycheck. So in the event of a job loss, that means that you have no way of supporting your family, putting food on the table, paying for your household and things of that nature. So like I said, I urge you to stop consuming things that you don't need. I urge you to control your impulses and I urge you to 
educate yourself on finances and by that I mean educate yourself meaning do what's necessary to understand finances because it's really not that hard save your money figure out what to invest in and generate assets so that those assets can pay for your lifestyle and then you can go buy whatever you want when your assets are making you money now um i appreciate you guys for watching this video uh i know it's kind of um i know it's kind of like just a ramble session or whatever but i felt like i needed to speak on this topic simply because i heard that ad on the radio and it was just disgusting and people are hearing this type of stuff and they think that's the right thing to do go get a better job so that you can get a car and wait wait a minute before i let you go before i let you go i did that same thing i got a better job i got a better job so that i can make a car payment that car payment ended up costing me thousands of dollars and I never even got to own the car because the car got wrecked by a drunk driver and that drunk driver didn't pay for anything on the car because I wasn't in the car the car got hit um, while the car was parked and I had to since I was underwater on the car I had to come out of pocket thousands of dollars to pay for the car that was never even mine so I urge you, I urge you not to buy things that you don't need and be smart with your money. Now, that's the whole purpose of what Grind School is about. Just being smart with your money, being smart with your finances, figuring out what to invest in, um, trying to teach people um, proper financial skills, financial etiquette. But I won't hold you guys up too long. I just thought that that was really interesting that somebody would get a better job just to go purchase a car. And I understand that it's it's in our DNA to purchase things. It's been embedded in our minds that we have to keep up with the Joneses. Um, and it may not be you, but a vast majority of Americans are this way. So thank you guys for watching. And remember to work hard so you can live free. See y'all in the next video. If you guys like this video, do us a favor, help us spread the word and smash that subscribe button. Also, if you want more content, grab a copy of our book, Grind to Financial Freedom, now available on Amazon and Amazon Kindle.